So I wasn't really planning on making this video, but I purchased something a little while ago when I was testing out the Action 4 versus the GoPro Hero 11. And if you guys haven't seen that full comparison video between these two cameras, make sure you check out the links above as well as down below in the video description. But one of the biggest things of the DJI Action 3 and the 4 and actually the, the 2 is when they came out with this magnetic system, I thought it's, it's a really good idea for you to easily go from something like this, uh, a handheld grip, into something like, you know, put it onto your helmet. So if you're doing a lot of different activities and you wanna move your camera around, the magnetic system works really, really well. Now we're comparing that to GoPro. If you guys know that GoPro introduced these right here, which are basically the attachments that kind of like two prong feet right here at the very bottom of the GoPro, which is cool. It, it's built in, so it makes it easy for you to grab something like this, which is just a little selfie stick drop that on here and then screw it with the screw on the side. And there you go, you basically have a screwed on action camera with a mount, but if you wanted to remove this, so if you wanted to remove it from your handle and you wanted to put it onto something like your backpack, put it onto a bike mount or something like that, you would have to then again, take this off and drop it onto that next mount, screw it back on. So if you're the type that's very active and likes to change your camera angles, uh, this takes a little bit longer, of course, because you're using that screw system. So when I was doing the review on these two cameras, I came across this right here, which is from Fall Cam. I just found it on Amazon, uh, but I will leave the links down below in the video description. What's really cool about this attachment is that what you do is you take out the actual feet here on the very bottom. Those, uh, the mounting system from the GoPro on the 10 and 11 have the same ones. You take that out and you screw on this one right here, which gives you three different mounting options now, including a mounting option that allows you to hook up your DJI magnets right here. So once you get this on here, you have a few different options. You have the DJI mount, which is the magnet and the clips. You can actually put it on just like that. There you go. So now it's very similar to the Action 4 now. So if I wanted to go from this to my helmet cam or helmet mount, I have a helmet mount. And then if I want to go from my helmet mount over to my bike mount, so if this was mounted onto my bike, now I have it on my bike, I can take it back off. And if I want to go vlog, pull it off and then drop it back on here and I'm often running with a magnetic mount. Once I added this on there during my reviews, it saved me so much time. Uh, but what's good, like I said, there's three different options. So there's that one with the DJI magnets. You have the standard one with the feet that come down. So you pop those down there and then yeah, you have the traditional way of doing it. And the reason why I like it is because it does give you those options, right? It gives you the options so that if you don't feel secure about the magnets, some people don't. Now you have the standard way, which is the two prong right there with a the screw and it's it's screwed into the GoPro, right? So you don't have any issues there worrying about that. It's exactly the same way you would use it any other way. Push those flaps down and the footprint is not that big. Comes up just a little bit, maybe a couple millimeters off the bottom of the action camera. I've seen some other ones that are a lot thicker but it also has a quarter 20. So if you have a tripod screw just like that, a quarter 20 at the top, now I can actually just screw it directly into the camera. And there you go. Not worrying about any mounts, not worrying about any clips, not worrying about any magnets. It just goes directly in it. Of course you can't tilt or do anything like that, but check that out. Stick this in your pocket, bring it back out. Really cool to have. So just wanted to share with you guys is something that I found uh, that was a big, big benefit for the DJI action cameras. You can now have that similar experience with your GoPro Hero 10 or 11 uh, just by replacing that. And honestly, I think it would be really nice if GoPro and DJI use something like this, just having the ability to have multiple ways of mounting it without adding a lot of size is really, really nice. I'm probably gonna have to buy another one for my other action camera, my GoPro Hero 10. And if GoPro uses this on the new GoPro 12, uh, if they use the same you know, one down here on the 12, then I'm gonna end up purchasing another one of these. Makes it really, really simple to use. And now you have multiple ways to mount your action camera instead of just one way. Instead of just the, the feet or here, instead of just the magnet, you now have three different ways of carrying and transporting 
your action camera around. If you guys are interested in this mount right here, I will leave the description down below. I did pick it up on Amazon. Uh, like I said, not sponsored or anything, but I mean, I use the Ulanzi and Fall Cam a lot. Uh, and I do have a lot of other gear that I'll be talking about in the future, but uh, yeah, I purchased one on Amazon and I'll leave that link down below in the video description. And like I mentioned earlier, if you guys haven't seen my full review on these two action cameras right here, the Hero 11 versus the Action 4, that link will be down below in the video description. As always, if you guys got value from this video, a big like would be much appreciated. This is Alistair Stasio with FlightPath.com. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.